Hey there, Paris of GoGeeks TV here, and today we're going to be fixing the MacBook trackpad. Now, what do I mean by fixing the trackpad? Well, if your trackpad is having trouble registering clicks or it requires a little more pressure or just feels loose, this will fix those problems. So let's talk about what you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need a number 00 Phillips screwdriver, a tri-wing screwdriver, which is the same one the Nintendo products use, and a T6 hex screwdriver. Now, if you don't have any of these, there are links to Amazon below where you can purchase them. Now, keep in mind, this will void your warranty. So if you're under Apple Care, don't try this yourself. Just go to the Apple Store, have them do it. You don't want to risk screwing anything up. Okay, so step one, use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the 10 screws on the back of the MacBook Pro. Now keep in mind that the top right screws, those ones are slightly longer than the rest, so just keep that in mind when reassembling the computer. Now since you're going to be doing a lot of little screws, I actually recommend keeping a piece of tape and putting the heads of the screws on there so you don't lose any. So step two, unscrew the two screws holding on the battery with a tri-wing screwdriver. Next, what you're going to want to do is unplug the plug that's holding down the battery. So to do this, you could use a rubber splunger or you can be daring like myself and just, you know, remove it with your finger. Then just go ahead and take out the battery. Okay, so now you'll see that screw on top of the trackpad. What you're going to want to do is slightly tighten this screw. Now, I mean like an eighth of a rotation. Even the smallest thing can really make a big difference. Then just go ahead and reassemble the computer real quick. And then test out the trackpad. Now, if it's working perfectly, then you're done. If not, then what you're going to want to do is reopen your computer and slightly adjust it based on how it was working. If it was worse, loosen it. If it was better, then tighten it up a little bit more. So you might have to repeat this procedure a few times you know, just to get it perfect. And if you need something to reference to while you're working on your computer, we have printable PDFs for this specific tutorial on the website. So go ahead and download those and print them off. And if you have any additional questions, we have an FAQ on the site as well. And if your question isn't listed, feel free to ask them in the uh, comment section below. I'll do my best to try and answer them all. Anyway, thanks for watching and subscribe if you like this video.